Now that you have established some connections, let's have some fun and do some searches for MARC records. Click the search button on EasyCat's toolbar to open the search dialog. Let's do an ISBN search. Just like quick cataloging in Atrium, you can type or scan a 10 or 13 digit ISBN number into the ISBN dialog field. I have typed in a 13 digit ISBN into the field. Now let's click the Begin button. Results display in the left pane of EasyCat. Click any title to view its mark record in the right pane. Refer to the material type icon and the copyright date when selecting a matching record. I will click on one of the records with a book icon beside it that has a 2010 copyright date because that is what matches my item. The record for my selection displays in the right pane of EasyCat. To review another MARC record for this item, simply click on its title under another library name in your connections list. When you have chosen the best record you want to download to Atrium, click the A button on EasyCat's toolbar and the record displays in Atrium's Add Item Bibliographic Record form. Depending upon your browser's setting, Atrium will either refresh the window to show this form or display it in a new browser window. Make any necessary changes such as age group, material type, etc. on the bibliographic record form for this item in Atrium, then click Save to save it to your database. Note the message in green indicates a successful save, and the message in orange indicates that the saved record has no holdings information associated with it. You are now ready to click Add Holdings to enter your local holdings information. A screenshot of the holdings record for this item is displayed. The complete process of editing holdings information is not demonstrated here. For instructions concerning adding holdings, refer to Atrium's online help, the Atrium training manual, or watch the quick cataloging video. To return to EasyCat and continue searching for MARC records, click EasyCat on your taskbar. This time, we will search for a record by author. Click the search button on EasyCat's toolbar and type in Rowling, comma, J, K into the author field. Then click Begin. Notice the symbol has changed to a match that indicates there are a lot of results found for this author. I want the first book in the series. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and my item was published in 1998. When the title is long, you can enlarge the left pane or you can hover over the title to see the copyright year at the end of the flyout. Because this search returned a large number of results, you could click on Stop on the toolbar to halt the search, and then customize your search using a Boolean AND to limit the search. Click on one of the search results that match your item to display it in the right pane. Since this record is the one that I want, let's right-click on the title and select Add to Atrium. The Add Item Bibliographic Record Form displays with the new record downloaded, make any necessary changes, and click Save. You are now ready to click Add Holdings to enter your local holdings information. To return to EasyCat, simply click EasyCat on your taskbar. Next, let's look for a mark record for a video. To limit our search results to only display mark records for videos, click View on EasyCat's menu bar, select Item Types, and remove all the check marks except for the one in the box next to the icon for videos. The results found will represent videos in both VHS and DVD formats. Click the search icon in EasyCat's menu bar and type Sounder in the Title dialog field. 
Click Begin, and the search results appear in the left pane. The copyright date on my VHS tape is 1972. It was produced by Paramount Pictures and starred Cicely Tyson. Let's review a few results to find a match. Once you have the correct mark record selected, click the A in Easy Cats toolbar to add this record to your Atrium database. Make any necessary changes to the record to reflect the material type and age group and click Save. You are now ready to click Add Holdings to enter your local holdings information. Now that we have downloaded several mark records from Easy Cat, let's recap the Add to Atrium configuration. Server is the first part of the Atrium address between the double slashes and the first single slash. Port, for most libraries this is 80. Refer to your Atrium URL and look for a colon at the end of the server address to determine the correct alternate port. Library prefix is the part of the address after libs. The prefix is unique to your library and should be less than 8 characters for EasyCat to interact properly with Atrium. Username and password refers to your Atrium login credentials. Location, main library is the default, but if you are using a centralized version of Atrium, enter the branch name here. Following are several tips and tricks that you can use in EasyCat. When creating your connections list, you can select multiple libraries simultaneously by holding down the Shift or Control key in addition to clicking on the row headers for the libraries contained in the lookup list. Many library servers will disconnect after several minutes of inactivity. Using the search icon on EasyCat's toolbar will try and reconnect you to all libraries in your connections list prior to searching. or you may use the option to right-click on any library listed in the left pane to re-establish the connection manually. You may customize your search by entering more than one search term. They are searched using a Boolean AND, meaning all terms specified must be present in order to get results. Use a 10-digit ISBN when searching for items that were published prior to 2007 and a 13-digit ISBN for items published from 2007 to present. Using a barcode reader expedites the ISBN searching process because it enters all the digits and clicks the Begin button for you. EasyCat keeps your last 10 searches in the drop-down list below the field name on the search dialog. Those search terms remain until you exit out of the program. When searching for items that return a lot of matches, you can click Stop on EasyCat's toolbar to halt the search. Limit your search results to a specific media type or types by selecting the appropriate item type checkboxes. Using EasyCat to download Mark Records into Atrium is a quick and easy way to catalog all types of media. And it actually does make cataloging fun. Additional information can be found using the online help feature in both EasyCat and Atrium. Thank you for joining me for this Atrium tutorial. If you need further assistance, please call Technical Support. The numbers are listed on your screen. Or, you can email Technical Support at the address shown.